What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video for you today. Guys, before I start, I just want to say a big thank you to the WWE Supercard community for all the brand new subscribers, all the brand new viewers. Thank you guys so, so much for your tremendous WrestleMania week and pretty much you guys made my weekend. So thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support. If you are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing like everyone else. Like the video if you enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for everything. But in this video, we got King of the Ring rewards. That's, that was he King of the Ring of Hell for me. We have TBG rewards as well. Do we finally get a WrestleMania? Do we get another pro from TBG? You're going to have to wait and find out. And also, I'd like to talk about the state of the game currently. Because I think a lot of free players are going to be suffering from this game. And this tier, exactly. So, yeah, guys. Thank you guys so, so much again. Uh, for everyone who wants to know about Team Ring Domination, I know that Otis is the WrestleMania card. Uh, the Royal Rumble card is actually Big E. Now, I didn't bother checking everyone else. I just know Royal Rumble is Big E and WrestleMania 36 is Otis. Uh, I forgot who the Vanguard was, but yeah. Those are the three I wanted to do, but I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let's get into the video. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we won our WrestleMania King of the Ring. My God, this was hard as F to win. It was insanely, insanely hard. I won in game seven, three, two. Uh, the opponent was just, oof, the David, dude, you were a freaking mess with your swapping around and stuff. My God, David, uh, GG, homie, GG. But Jesus freaking Christ, man, that was insane. The power of Titus, still strong with us. We want the Royal Rumble Titus, and we want a good WrestleMania card as well. So let's go ahead and claim these awards. The power of Titus for the win. Uh, all that stress. I get this. The only way I'll be happy again is if you give me a Royal Rumble Titus. How, how dare you? How dare you? Oh. Mm, I have no words. <laughs> it could be an event soon, but it is the worst in the tier, but oh my God. Sometimes the worst of the tier don't even get in a, like in the events. Like usually, uh, damn, that's terrible. <laughs> Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Time to collect them TBG rewards. Let's see what we get, boys. Hmm. I wonder what we're gonna get. Probably two vanguards and a Royal Rumble. Make my day, Supercard. Make my day. Oh shit. Okay. I'll take that. Ooh. Pro King Corbin. Oh, I'll definitely take that all day, baby. All right, let's go, baby. Another pro in the bag. Let go. I totally didn't mean to run my city just there. It, it just happened. I, I was excited. You know, it was King freaking Corbin. I had to rub a nip or something, so I just rubbed mine. And I just had to do what I had to do. So I'm, I'm sorry, guys. If any of you got offended by that, I'm so sorry. But anyways, if you guys don't ever get excited from a pro, you gotta just do something, all right? But anyways, cheers. I need to talk to you guys about the state of WWE Supercard right now because it is honestly, to me, in a very, very bad state when it comes to free players. I think Supercard, this tier, is doing free players extremely, extremely dirty. Now, free players do have a chance to get this card. I've done 13 of these fusions and have gotten zero. Some people have done two, gotten two. The odds of you getting a pro is not likely as a as a free player. You'll be blessed to get one, but blessed, super blessed to get two. So the odds of a free player getting this card exactly is not high at all. You're looking at maybe a, between one to 10% chance, in my opinion, out of 100. 
of getting this card. So yes. The problem is though, is free players rely on these cards. These are the cards they reply, like rely on. Now you can make this Miz in F3, and here's the problem with that. You make that Miz in F3 right here, guess what? This card will still be your Miz F3. There's no way that you could pretty much beat this card. Now Miz might win in one stat, maybe? He's definitely not going to win in power. He's definitely not going to win in toughness. I don't think he'll even win in speed. I can see charisma, but that's about it. But I can't even see charisma at this point because we're talking like, a, say if each card is a F1, 50K, it's 150K to every stat, but then you got to add the momentum as well to that. It still wouldn't be enough to beat this card. And it's incredible. I think free players, I think this tier is like missing the mark. I am landslide back in Royal Rumble tier back in Vanguard tier an F1 and F2 could beat maybe this Kevin Nash back in the day it was easy like F1 a, a high tier F1 or a low tier F2 would beat this card so I'm confused as to why we're talking about this being a hobby season and literally free players are getting screwed left and right and then these guys are back in packs as of right now. You can get another Kevin Nash or Scott Hall. Me, I don't want to risk it just yet. I'm still thinking about it. But, you know, the chances of me getting, you know, maybe a Scott Hall or a Kevin Nash is really high right now, which is crazy. Uh, so, yeah, that is insane. I think Supercard needs to really go back to the drawing board. I don't know what they were thinking about doing this tier. A lot of people are still questioning what these gems are going to be on the bottom right. We'll know later this week what they do, but it's just so confusing. Like, what free players? Honestly, free players are not going to enjoy the game. They're just not. They could do everything in their power. Their cards will never be better than anyone who pays to win. And yes, I'm one of those players who will pay. I have no problem paying money for cards, but I will I will get smoked by people who get F3s and stuff because, you know, I'm not going to spend my entire life savings on the game because hey, I love the game, but I also got rent to pay and other things to pay. So I'm not going to spend all my money on a game. But it's insane how Supercar just doesn't really care about the free players anymore at this point. At least in this tier, they don't care about the free players. It's more of a, it's a big F you to them. And I feel bad for them because I know so many free players who pl who rely on the grinding and stuff to play because they can't really financially do anything. And these cards that they're going to have right here are going to be totally effing useless. Like money in the bank will now be useful, but you can't fortify those, which is the problem with money in the bank. But ha however, that the way that money in the bank is going to be designed, because money in the bank will probably be, be close to these stats, I'm going to say maybe 5, 10k less. They will still be basically an F2, an F3 WrestleMania 36 base card. So free players, if I, if I want my recommendation, I say stock up on your money in the banks because that is the only way you're going to become close to beating free players. And it's just, it's just, it sucks. It really sucks. The game is in a bad state. Supercard, you gotta do better for next tier. You gotta do better for season seven. This is just, it's, you gotta think about your free players. You gotta think about them. That's like 80, 90% of the community probably. Think about the free players. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you on the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. Peace.